What is up, guys? Um, happy Saturday. Today is January 21st, and, um, today, um, I know it's January, and Halloween is not for a very long time, but people are making videos about some animatronics that they want to see come back for this year. And I have a lot of animatronics that I would want to see come back. I know, like, other people have, like, five or ten. But I hope you guys got, uh, get a snack because it is going to be a long video. Um, I'm not looking at ten, but twenty animatronics that I want to see return back. And trust me, this video is going to be long. So, I am on Spirit Halloween Wiki Fandom. We have all these awesome things to look at, from animatronics to props to themes. They have Spirit Halloween Wiki has everything, and because um my my list is so big, I I actually have to I actually have to put them all on a list. Now all of these are pretty old animatronics, um like. Like, pr pr pretty pr old. Um, so, if you guys are, like, new to Spirit Halloween, you guys are about to see some animatronics that came from the past of Spirit Halloween. So, here's the thing with Spirit Halloween. Like, in, like, 2014 or something, that was probably their scariest year yet for animatronics. I want to see stuff like that come back. Um... So that's why I have a bunch of animatronics that are scary, and also, I would love to see them come back. So anyway, I'm gonna switch to the screen. I actually have so many animatronics, I have to write them on a list. Okay. So, for, for the year that we're gonna start with, the first animatronic, this animatronic is scary. It's a girl animatronic. And... It's a, um, a 2016 animatronic. So, coming at number 20 in our list is the Floating Ghost Girl. Now, this animatronic, don't get me wrong, this animatronic is pretty super freaking awesome. I mean, just look at that. Look how, look how good she looks uh, with like her scare factor and stuff. Like, look. So, she was sold in 2016 by Spirit Halloween. She, she was... Um, made by Crazy Create. I'm gonna show you mm, a bunch of images. So, um, this is her box. This, that's what her box used to look like. Floating girls, girls on the front. And that's a picture of her set up in the store. She was in the haunted hotel theme. Um, it's that was awesome, awesome theme. But now I'm gonna switch to the video. Good luck. Oh, never mind. Not that camera. Oh no! They're here again! They possess me! Stay away or I shall infest you too! You cannot defeat me! <laughs> As you can see, Floating Girls Girl is a really awesome animatronic. She she starts rising up, and then her arms and head pop up. I believe she has the same mechanism as Coat Rack Monster, but I don't know. Um, so here, let me switch back to mine. So now we're gonna go on to our 19th place on the list. What do we have for number 19? Okay, okay, we're taking a a really big jump back. Hold up. So, this animatronic is... Okay, hold up. I can't find it. I can't find it. Hold up. Okay, I found it now. So, this animatronic is all the way back. Way back. To 2009. So I actually did not get a chance to see this animatronic. I do love it. 
guys, I give you. Wait, hold up. Let me get a good picture of her first. Uh, let's see. I bring you, or I give you, the Samantha animatronic from 2000. Oh my god, I hate this thing. All right. That's bad. Okay, this is this. My mom is yelling at something. I'm not sure what. So Samantha was a really good animatronic. She's um, she looks pretty awesome. As you can see, she's holding like a lollipop or something. Um, I think she's awesome. She's uh one of those uh 360 head spinner animatronics. Like um, all right, here's her box. That's another. Oh, she was only a hundred bucks. That's good. That's a good price. All right, then that that I guess that's her when she was that's her when she was set up. That theme looks good. All right, here's the video now. Okay, so, yeah, as you can see, Samantha is pretty creepy, um, yeah, she turns her at 360 degrees, and then she, like, makes a whining sound. It's something that I don't really understand, but it's creepy, like, that, that look is creepy. Alright, anyway, that's it for, let's not talk about Samantha anymore, we're gonna move on to something else. What is on, what is on our list for number 18? Okay, um, not... Not too too far ahead, but um, we're going to 2013 with um, Miss Fortune Teller or Madam Morbid, whatever you want to call it. Um, but sh this is a fortune teller animatronic from 2013. Slow Bites for Halloween sh uh, in the clown train theme. The Iconic clown train theme. So that's her when she was set up in the stores. As you can see, there's um some stuff. Okay, um, I'll show you what that means in a second. Where? Okay, she has no box images. But anyway, here's a video of her. Wait, actually, hold up. You guys don't need. You guys don't have to see me. You can just see the screen. Okay, so, um, she was gonna about to go a second time. We only have to see these things one time. But, yeah, she's pretty creepy. I love how she, um, how you, she acts like a normal fortune teller. Then when you press that button, her head spins around to reveal a scary face. And actually, there was actually one that was messed up, kind of. Like, it was kind of reversed. Like, like, when she was pretending to be the normal fortune teller, she had the scary face. And then when the scary face was supposed to be there, her normal face <laughs> there. And then it was like... Don't, Madam Morbid is just a little messed up. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Alright, anyway, let's uh, move on to number 17 on the list. Let's see. I don't want you guys to see any of the other ones, because I, I don't want to be a spoiler. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, this one, I absolutely do want to see this one come back really, really badly. Um, even though, like, um, they're, like, in ranks, I do want to see all of these come back at some point. So, for number 17, I'm gonna, I want Pumpkin Nester to come back. Yeah, Pumpkin Nester is one of the big swinging props. Um, I, I know there's, like, three big swinging props, like, the Swinging Scarecrow, Pumpkin Nester, and the Swinging Swamp Hag. But out of all three of those, Pumpkin Nester is my favorite one. 
I love I love how he looks. I love what he says. Like I love his phrases. Um so yeah, but I remember in 2014 they released um something that actually did return Little Nestor uh online only for 2021. That one that one sucks. I don't like Little Nestor. Pumpkin Nestor is a hundred billion million times better than Little Nestor. So, I actually do have a doll. Um, it's in my closet. Uh, the, the doll that they sold uh, last year for Spirit. I, d I, did, I did get it. Yeah, it's, he's really awesome. So, um, this was his box. Um, yeah, then... Uh, that's another box image, and another box, and another box image. So, this was him set up in stores in 2013, because um, he was released in 2013, and then, and then this is 2014, and then this, this was a leftover pumpkin nester, and I guess they put it up in 2015. And also, we, we do have um, the 2021 thing, where he was the employee of the month. And also, here's another, no, actually, that's not what I wanted to show you. This is the doll. The, the pumpkin nester doll. I do have it. Alright. Now, without... For, wait, does he have a video? I don't see a video. Okay, here we go. At first I thought he didn't have a video, so... Enjoy. Looks like you could use a smile! Come a little closer and I'll carve one for you! <laughs> Why do I have this stupid grin on my face? It's because they scooped out all my brains and made pies out of them! Enjoy your dessert! <laughs> That's a very pretty face you have there! It should look even prettier decorating my porch with a candle in your mouth! <laughs> I guess they have a keychain too. I, I didn't know they had a keychain of him. He, he, he's he's pretty popular. Oh, I guess that's his website thing. All right. Anyway, yeah, Pumpkin Nester is awesome. I really do want to see him come back. A lot of people do. But you know what? I actually I I actually thought he was released in 2014. But 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 when I like that, that was like when I was like still getting into Spirit Halloween. Um, but then I, I actually learned the reason why they brought him back, because he was so popular in 2015, uh, not 2015, 2013, that people were, like, buying him, like, there's none left, so they just decided to bring him back to give people a second chance to get him. Okay, alright, this one, um, we're going back one year to 2012, uh, let's see, yeah, there it is, yeah, this one is probably the only animatronic that Spirit Home has ever made that squirts water. Now you're going to be like, squirts water? Then you, a 2012 animatronic that squirts water? There's probably only one guess for that. And that is the Wolf Spitter from 2012. I love this thing. I don't have it. I want it. I, but, but it's awesome. Um... I love that bloody limb he's chewing on, and he. I love the blood on his shirt. A anything scary that anything uh, that has blood on it, a lot of blood on it, I'm gonna love. He's munching on that limb, and then he squirts water at you through his mouth. He has like a little water tank with him. Um, he's he's pretty he's awesome. Okay, so there's some real life images of him, and actually I believe he comes fully set up. There's his box. There's and then that was him when he was set up in the store. Yeah. The 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 barn theme from 2012 was awesome. And I love how he was there with the howler. And I and I know Lim Ripper's supposed to be there. And actually I do have him, but it's actually the 2017 model. Because I actually thought he was brand new. Oh, it looks like they had a leftover in 2015. Um, yeah, yes, that's him squirting water. And, and then this is from the video of the barn. And then that's and, and then Wolf Spitter, see it in action. Yeah. I guess that's the price tag. Alright, anyway, without further ado, let's get to the video.
Yeah, so Wolf Spitter is a really good animatronic. I, I really want to see this one come back. I never got to see it in person before. I think it's really awesome. I just want it to come back. Spirit, please please bring, um, out of all the 20 animatronics that are on this list, please bring at least one of them back. Okay, please. All right. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. All right, next thing's next. What is number, what do we have for number, oh, oh, ah, number 15, actually, not number 16. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so we're going four years ahead, uh, to 2016 with, with one of the best carvers in the world. Guys, not a, it's none other than the Lunging Pumpkin Carver. Yeah, this one is really awesome. I never got to see this in person before. Well, actually, I technically did. I saw it in 2018, but it, it lo the wig fell off, and it was just bald, and it was off. I think it was broken. So, I have seen this thing in person before, but I've never seen it in action. I've never seen it, like, activate or anything. But it looks really awesome. Look at that blood splatter on her dress, the knife, and the pumpkin. <laughs> And look at those scars on her face, and those eyes are creepy. So, let's see. That's her uh, website picture. That's, uh, oh wait, that's the instructions. I never, all right, that's her box. That's her setup in the store. And then last year, um, I, I think uh, Halloween City. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a uh, Vengeful Vicky or something like that. Another version of Lunging Pumpkin Carver. And I see they also have the setup video from Techie Toys. Alright, anyway, let's see the video now. Look at my cute pumpkin. I carved him just for you. Now, I'm gonna carve... Lunging Pumpkin Carver is really scary. Yeah. Yeah, I love how she was like, Oh, look at my cute pumpkin. I carved it just for you. But then, now, I'm gonna carve you. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright, all right. now let's do number 14. Yes. Okay, okay, we're going one year back. Okay, to 2015. Um... In the swamp theme, uh, we're gonna be talking the for someone who loves barrels. Um, think of a barrel animatronic from 2015. Um, the only barrel animatronic there is in 2015, Moonshine Barrel Zombie. Yes, I want to see this come back. Um. You know, when I was, like, younger, I was too afraid of jump scare animatronics, and I was too afraid to go near this one, but I want to see it come back. I, I love this thing. Um, and I know in the year before, they made a, uh, they, they were supposed to bring in a clown version of this and put in the attic theme, uh, Chester to Jester, but, um, he, he ended up being online only. And I can tell he was supposed to go in the attic because it had the attic thing, the thing on the box with, like, the, the attic box, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, if you saw, like... Like, every every single animatronic that was in the attic had a uh, different box than the other ones. Which I thought was really awesome, because that was a pretty cool design. So, Moonshine Zombie Barrel is a pretty good jump scare animatronic. That's uh, his website picture. That's his side, the other side, back, front. And then that's his box image. And then another box, and another box image. And then here's a few pictures of him set up in the store, right next to the incinerator. Yeah. The incinerator is really good, too, but I like the zombie barrel better. Alright, let's move on to the video.
Okay. Moonshine Zombie Bear Hole is a pretty creepy animatronic. Look at that blood on him. That's crazy. You know what? If someone if someone is able to find the some one like this, then it consider themselves then they should consider themselves lucky. Alright, so now that was number fourteen, right? Okay, number thirteen. We're going back three years to so two thousand twelve again. Um someone who loves to stab. Oh, wait, what? Someone who loves a stab. That's, you know, I'm, I'm going to give a hint for um, each animatronic from now going forward. Um, where is it? Oh, here, here we go. Alright. So, let me find a good image of it. Um... Okay, I guess this is good. So, 2012, someone who loves to stab is Baby Stabby. Yeah, this uh, this is back then when uh, Spirit used to release like zombie baby animatronics. Stabby was re was a really good one. Um, I never seen Stabby in person before. I just uh, learned about him like last year. Um, but he looks really awesome. I love how he stabs that teddy bear. Stabby just looks so, so creepy. Uh, let's see, let's see. So this is a box image of him. And then... This is side. And then the other side. The back. That's him set up in the store. I, that looks like the Terra Mill. I guess that's a leftover in 2013. The front. Then that's what it looks like on the bottom. That's for... Oh, and here's a, here's like a catalog for the zombie babies. And that's a picture of him with his eyes lit up. And then another catalog. Alright, now let's move on to the video of Mr. Stabby. Yeah, Stabby is really awesome. He's, he's really creepy. Um, he makes like s like weird screeching sounds when he stabs, and apparently he go he does that at least like three times, or like like he like he'll like he'll like he'll make noise like little noises for a little bit, and then he'll start stabbing, stop, and then stab again, and then stop, and then stab one more time. <laughs> That's what he would do. All right. Next, um, on our list, I believe, ooh, okay, so we have to jump, uh, forward for a year, um, with someone who loves to hide knives. It is another baby, it is another zombie baby, so, someone who would hide a knife, I wonder who would that be, who that would be. Isabella Zombie Baby. Wait, wait, what? This is number 12, right? Yeah. Yeah, Isabella Zombie Baby. I, th I think she's really creepy, even more creepy than Stabby. I mean, look, look, look at that face, and look at all that blood on her. And look at that bloody knife she's hiding, so... Oh, wait, that's the same image, so that's the side of her. The other side, and then that's the back. So, um... I'm not, I, at first, I couldn't figure out what the knife was, but then when I looked on Spirit Halloween Wiki, I saw, like, I saw, I saw she was hiding it. I'm not sure what it meant. And she's from 2013, and that's her setup in the store. Alright, now let's move on to the video. Yeah, Isabella is 
pretty awesome with that knife of hers. You know what? Um, it, in this image, it looks like the eyes light up red, but they actually light up pink, which is which I think is kind of cool. Though. All right. Anyway, next things next. Number eleven. Actually, we have one more zombie baby to look at. Last zombie baby, I promise. We have to go back to 2012. Someone who loves to suck thumbs. Um, and you probably can already guess it right now. Here, hold on, let me find a good image of it. Um... Pull up, it's loading. Why is it? Why is this one taking so long to load? Here, let me pause it real quick. Okay, I finally got a good image of it. So, for number third, no, number eleven, I mean, <laughs> number eleven, we have the thumb sucker baby from 2012. So this one looks pretty creepy with all that blood coming out from his mouth. And then yeah, it's really pr pretty cool. That's a close up. And then there's the catalog. We saw this with Stabby too. And then, I guess that's all for there to see, so let's move on to the video. So that is creepy. Um, I really want to see all these animatronics come back. Spare Halloween, please bring these back. All right. Next thing's next. Um, let's see. What is number ten on the list? Okay, we're going. We're going. We're jump. We're jumping. Uh, a year ahead. Or I don't know. Okay. Um. Okay, here it is. Yeah, and we and we did kind of see something like this last year from Halloween City, but it'd be really good to see this one come back too. Um. Okay. All right, it's loading. Hold up. Alright, hold up, I'm gonna open another tab. Okay, let me try to search it up again. Alright, here we go. I got it now. So, number 10 is a Limb Eating Zombie Boy from 2013. Now, um, we did see something like this this year with the Crouching Zombie Child. Um, that one was pretty creepy. I think it is creepier than the Zombie Boy. But, it would be really good to see this come back for Spirit. Because it would be pretty impressive to see something like this come back for Spirit. Because, you know, they have been kind of been kid-friendly the last, the last couple of years. Ha yeah, I, I want to see this animatronic come back. Um, and I do have the zombie child, too. Um, I don't know, I, I, I didn't know if you guys, uh, knew that. But, I'm gonna get it to, to work for a little bit. When I, when I got it out of the box, um, I thought there was something wrong with it. Um, but I just forgot to tur turn it on, so I stopped, I, I just forgot that I didn't have it in the on position. So I stopped the video, and I decided not to post it. So, this is awesome, like. Like, I, it's pr he makes really creepy sounds, and there's creepy music in the background. Alright, I guess, alright, I don't know what, okay, so that's his box, another image of his box. Oh wait, that's his instructions. 
That's the car. I guess that's when Sticky used to have cartoon. I think now they have like. No, I think they still have cartoons. So that's him in 2013. That's him in like the video for the theme. And that's him in 2014. That's the last chance gas. I guess that's a leftover in 2015. A leftover in 2016. That's 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 a lucky find. I guess it's another leftover in 2015. Another 2014 image. All right, now let's do the video. What the hell is this? Age restricted? I've seen the video of Lim eating Zombie Boy at least 10,000 times. It's not age restricted. My God. Spirit. Spirit, why? What is the meaning of that? Here, let me just see if I can find it from like normal YouTube. from Spirit Halloween, but I'm not sure why the video on the wiki fandom is age-restricted, but that that is just crazy. I mean, there's nothing inappropriate in that video. I've seen I've seen it at least 10,000 times, or maybe 10,000 and one times from the time I, I just saw it, but unbelievable. Just unbelievable. What if so, I mean, they can't, they can't age restrict their animatronic videos. I mean, what if someone doesn't have YouTube and um, and can't get it or something? Like they they have to think they have to think more, kinda. All right. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's just forget about that. And move on to number nine, which is oh okay. We're staying in 2013 for a little bit. Mm. Um, with same same theme, uh, kind of kind of similar to the Zombie Boy. Uh, just hope you don't have this. I just hope you don't um have. I hope you, I just hope you don't have something that's chained to the wall when you go to the hospital. The convulsing nurse is number nine. I want to see this one come back. This one is awesome. I love the convulsing nurse. Uh. Yeah, she's looking at all that blood on her dress, and, and and look and look, she's like chained to the wall with like hooks. Her face is creepy. I think it's like she's like wearing a mask because it's like bolted to her face. Uh, let's see what else is there. That's uh convulsing nurse and the first aid, first aid kit. Um. Um, it doesn't come with it. All right, that's an image. Like you would press, it like, it doesn't come with it. But you press that button and then it starts making a noise and then that part right there, like that part opens up and then there's like a face inside. A distorted face, I think it's what the heck is that? She doesn't have legs. Wait, let's look at that real quick. I've never seen that before. What is that? I guess they put pneumatics on her. I guess they modified her. Or that person modified her. And it looks like there's no video with the first aid box here. Actually, let me try to find one. Uh, no. There's no video with the first aid box. We just have to do the the regular one with, with just her. Alright. Enjoy.
got you. All right, hi, I heard my mom sneezes, and whenever I hear someone sneeze in the house, I always say bless you, because I'm a nice person. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Actually, someone actually made um a video of like the top ten creepiest animatronics that Spirit Halloween has ever made in their opinion, and they put this one at the top of the list. All right, well enough talking about convulsing nerves. Let's move on to n number eight, which is. Okay, okay, we're staying in 2013, and this is something that I I love even better than the convulsing nurse. Um. Um. And um. Let's see. Let, let me find a good image of him. Oh 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 oh. Okay okay. All right, here we go. This image is good. All right, so number. Th no, I almost said number thirteen. N number um eight on the list is the wheelchair psycho from two thousand thirteen. This thing is awesome. I actually had a chance. I I actually did almost. I was almost able to get it, but I did. I but I but I couldn't get it. Uh, I wish I had this one though. This one is amazing, like really amazing. I w I wish I had this one. Um. I I almost got one, but I didn't get it. And um, people, uh, some people think it's it's a she, but it's actually a he. Um, I actually learned that a couple of years ago. So that's one. Of, that's the other side of him. That's the back of him. Okay, that's the face. Looks a little deformed. Okay, that's like there's the knife. And then oh, I never saw someone like. That's her box, and then that's her when she was set up. $170, okay. Alright, next is time for the video. So this one is really awesome. I, I love it so much. It's really creepy. Um, and actually, the wheels do function. So maybe uh, like Halloween, if I did get this one, I could put batteries in it and roll it around. <laughs> or maybe I could just use it as a static. Yeah, but they do actually function. Um, all right. Anyway, next thing's next. Number seven. We're at. All right. Okay, we're going uh, a year ahead, 2014, with, um, if you see this on your wall, run, thing, cause, n cause in, coming on the list for number seven, we have the possessed wall hanger. This one is awesome, I really do want to see this one come back, it's really awesome, Spirit Halloween, please bring this one back, this one was amazing in 2014 and 2015, um, yeah, she's pretty creepy, um, she has, like, two different audios, I, um, the one that is in the video is creepier, so let's see, that's, uh, her website picture, I believe, and that's her box in 2014 with the attic, but, in 2015, there was no act theme, so they changed it to that. So like, here's a difference. That's 2014 box, and then this is the 2015 box. And then this is an image of her in 2014. 2014 min image. 2015 image. And then that's a close-up of her face. That's the inside of her. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, what is that? I don't know. Alright. Alright, next let's do the video.
Okay. All right. Yeah, I know it doesn't do much, but it's re it's a really awesome animatronic. Uh, yeah. So number six uh, of the things I want to see return. Okay, we're going um to 2015. Um. Uh, with a seasonal vision, a thing, seasonal visions animatronic, whatever you want to call it. All right, there's a couple of good images, so you know I'll just I'll just do this one. So, and there's two separate videos. One she's moving really fast, and the, I'll show you both of them. So you can one she's moving like really fast, but. I'll show you the second one because she moves a little bit slower. Alright, so this is the Twitching Banshee of the no, coming in number 6 um, animatronic that I want to see return. Yes, I do want to see this one return really, really badly. This one was awesome in 2015 and 2016. Um, let, let's see. So, that's uh, one of the we website pictures and that's another, that was one of the other website pictures. That's the side of her, the back of her. <laughs> what is that? She, she does not look like herself in there. That's her box. Another box image. Another box image. Another box. And then that's her in 2015. Wow! That's cool! I think that might have been like a theme idea or something, but where's the Twitching Banshee? I don't see her. I see, I see Harbinger of Hell roaming antique doll or uh, grave grabbing, grave grabber corpse, whatever, and s see through Cid Cid Cindy, I think that's what her name is, but where is the Twitching Banshee? If that was a theme idea, I feel like they should, they should have chose that over whatever theme that they were gonna do. Alright, so that's, uh, around 2016. Okay, let's see, okay, so... So, actually, we'll show you the, uh, the first video first, as in when she's moving slower. All right, here we go. Okay, now the second video, this is when she's moving a little bit faster, and this is creepy. Yeah, so as you see, uh... I've actually never seen the whole video before! That scared me! I never seen the whole video before, cause I always think it's over, like when the logo comes up after her activation. <laughs> that scared me, but um, I I think that video is creepier. But I showed both of them just because, yeah, you know, so you can see her normal speed and then the, the creepy version. All right, now number five, I believe that's when we're at now. All right, we're going back here to 2014. Um, let's see good image of this one okay here we go so number um uh, <laughs> I lost track number five on the list is jackal lunger yeah jackal lunger uh, was a really good animatronic in my opinion really really awesome I loved it so much it's a uh, really really awesome um yep yeah, let's see. So that's the website picture, and that's him uh, lurching, jackal lunger box, and then that's him set up in stores 2014. Okay, there's another image of him. All right, here's the video now.
Okay, so, yeah. Um, and actually, I just realized something. Um, I want to switch places for an animatronic. So, you know how I said that I wanted Lunging Pumpkin Cover to be at number 15 on the list? Well, um, I figured out an animatronic that I actually do want to see return, like, a lot more than her. So, I'm going to move her to Honorable Mentions. And then I'll do the honorable honor honorable mentions. So, yeah, you know. All right. Anyway, number uh, four actually. Yeah, number four. We're gonna be staying in 2014 for a little bit. Uh, with uh more attic animatronics. Uh, with okay, you're not gonna let me show any, any images of her, but. For number four on the list is Peekaboo Penny. This animatronic, I, want, I just want to see come back really, really badly. This one was amazing in 2014. Um, I was afraid of it when I was when I was little, but now I'm like, I want to see this thing. <laughs> like, I kind of wish I, uh, I, I would not mind animatronics because I would probably activate her a hundred times. Because this, this animatronic is actually really awesome. So, um... That's her face. That's her website image. Uh, box image. Box image. Box image. Instructions. That's her setup in the store. Okay, another picture. Oh, someone getting. I think. I'm not sure what that is. All right. So now let's do the video. When that face is hidden behind her hands, it just looks like a little innocent, like four or five year old. And then, and then when she goes, uh oh, and then, and then when her head pops up, it's not, it's not an innocent child. It's, a, it's a demon child. All right, number three, yeah, number three. Um, staying in 2014 for a little bit. Mm, uh, with another attic animatronic. Um, let's see. Alright, here we go. This is a good one. So, for number three on our list, we have Lunging Lily. Lunging Lily was a really awesome animatronic. I was afraid of all the jump scare animatronics, because I, didn't, I did not like how fast they moved. But, but now I, I want to see this come back. And I actually did see, and I actually did see, one of these in 2017, there was a leftover, and, and they set up, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's a lunging lily, and then I activated it about, like, a hundred times, because I was just so, so shocked to see a lunging lily in 2017, and actually, HJ Halloween, uh, uh, found a lunging lily in his, uh, local spirit Halloween store in 2019, and he actually picked it up and brought it home, and it wasn't a used one, it was brand new, which I, which I, I think he's lucky, I, I kind of wish that was me, but he's lucky. He's really, really lucky. All right, so as again, this, this animatronic did come back in 2015, so there's two separate box images. So that's her 2014 box, 2015 box, 2014 box, 2015 box. That's the side of the box for 2014. Side of the box for 2015. And for the 2015 box, they swap. They swapped things like this is supposed. To, this was on the side of 2014, and then this was on the front of the 2014 box. That's her instructions, I guess. And then that's her setup in the store for 2014. And then that's 2015. What the, what the heck? Are, uh, what? Okay. What the heck? Why would someone take a picture of that? That's kind of inappropriate. Oh, oh wait, actually that's HEJ Halloween's uh, Lunging Lily. So, in House of Terror, today's prize, Lunging Lily. <laughs> Alright, anyway, here's the video.
and you know, I guess the proto and then the prototypes eyes light up blue, but but they're supposed to light up white. Um, and you know, honestly, I um, there was actually another animatronic on the list that um did that was supposed to have uh, red eyes, but ended up having white eyes. I think the white eyes look better. I think they look scarier. So yeah, so Legend Willy is a really awesome animatronic, and I really do want to see this one come back. All right, now number two on the list. This one we're actually going. This was actually the most recent animatronic that I actually do want to see come back, and I do have it, but there's actually a reason for me uh, wanting it to come back. Let me see a picture of it. All right, here we go. So number two on the list is Bloodthirsty Betty. Now the reason now I do have Bloodthirsty Betty, but the reason why I want to see this one come back because she is broken and I cannot get her fixed and it's, her head is broken. Like not like mechanically, like even though like everything works fine, this is even worse. Like the plastic in the head is broken. Like it just sn like it just snapped. And it was it was so scary for me to watch cuz this is one of my favorite animatronics. Because I remember begging my parents to get her, and I wanted a brand new one because I knew the store, the store display would not last, I didn't think the store display would last that long, but, th but she was still set up in the store, but, um, and actually I almost picked up a possessed wall hanger while I was there, but, um, because there was actually a brand new possessed wall hanger. And I was like, oh, she, she's not in the she's not in the store. She's not in the box. I I, I could I I could just get I could just get possessed wall hanger. Um, but then but then I was like, do I want a brand new possessed wall hanger and just forget about what I really came here to to get, or do I get what I wanted and see how it go and just take a risk? And I decided to take a risk and get the store display one. Alright, anyway, let's see some images. That's her website image. That's, uh, that's the same image. That's her side, other side. Back. Instructions. Box image. Another box image. Another box image. Uh, it's 2019. That's where she was set up. Oh, that's HJ Halloween. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Look at that kitty. Uh, look at look at the way he's looking at her. <laughs> I th he's like, "Do you want to go on a date with me?" <laughs> all right, yeah. So, all right. So that's another image. Okay. Oh, there's a uh, demonic dolly and Brothers Betty. I do have demonic dolly too. But if I did not have her, then I would want her to come back. Okay, Betty is back. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, someone has two, I guess. Look at look at their faces. That those ones teeth, that that face looks creepier because the teeth look different. All right. Anyway, video time. I do want to see Bloodthirsty Betty come back really badly. And actually, there's actually another animatronic, number one, I do have, actually, for the number one animatronic, I do have it, and I want to see it come back for the same purpose. But I have a long story with that one, so it's, yeah, this video is almost an hour, so I hope you guys did grab a snack <laughs> for this video. Anyway, so, we're going to be looking at um, some honor honor honorable mentions. So... I have three of them. I'm gonna switch myself to the to the thing and uh do and do the honorable mentions. Warning. Stand back. Maximum voltage will initiate now.
Okay, so I know I think you guys uh, saw my face all while I was going through those videos, but I'm so I'm sorry I meant to click the two, not the two and the one. It, it's kind of the thing on the Logitech camera I have, but um, I, I just had to put Rosemary on honorable mentions. That that's what, what I wanted to switch around. I want a uh, lunging pumpkin cover to be on honorable mentions, and Rosemary Zombie Girl to take her pr pr place. Because I did not think about about that one. So. Without further ado, the moment you've all been waiting for, what is the number one animatronic that I want to see return for the 2023 season? Guys, let's do a drum roll. Broken Spine Girl. Now, as I said, I do have this one, um, but the reason why I do want to see it come back, mine is a static. She does not work anymore. So this, this one has a long story. So... I got mine in 2016 as a Christmas present. I was so happy to have her. As soon as we were done opening Christmas presents, I, I began to set her up, put her together, and, you know, and then I plugged her in, watched her in action, and I was like, I can't believe I have her. Like, like I was like the happiest kid on earth that day. <laughs> um, and then about oh, three weeks after I had her when she, when she would bend backwards she would start to make a really bad clicking sound I didn't really think too much about it because she seemed to be doing just fine uh, besides that but um in 2020 um remember how I said I had bloodthirsty Betty uh when her head went down and had the same problem and I love blood at the moment I love blo bloodthirsty Betty much more than broken spine girl and um uh, and we fixed her right away, but then I was like, hey, we fixed Bloodthirsty Betty, and Broken Spine Girl has the same issue. I decided to fix her, and then and then she worked really great for about a week, but then uh, exactly a week later when she had been back, she would click and then go back up a little bit. Um, and then, and then one thing led to another, like, uh, she wouldn't bend backwards anymore, uh, um, head stopped turning, mouth stopped working. And then the only thing that was, like, really working out was the eyes and the audio. Eventually the audio stopped working, and the eyes were the only thing left working. But then, I, pl I unplugged her, and then plugged her back in, uh, tapped her, because I couldn't tell. And then the eyes did not light up, and I was like, yeah, this thing's just done. So, I really want to see, uh, them bring it back, but make it, but make it better, please. Um, that's her image, box image. That's the side of the box, back of the box, price tag, instructions. That's her set up in the store. Another image, another image, and I guess that's a leftover in 2015. All right, now let's do the video. Or er, never mind, sorry. Where, where, where did everybody go? They're all. <laughs> All gone. And you're next! <laughs> so as you can see, that one, uh, the one in the video that you just saw, that one is the prototype one. The prototype's eyes light up red. But 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 they ended but they ended up making them white. Same thing happened with Lunging Lily. The prototype size were supposed to be blue, but then they ended up they ended up being white. Me personally, I like the white the white better. And then and then I feel like this animatronic is is really good for the number one spot. All right, guys, I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer. This is this was a very long video. I did not expect it to be this long to, to go over 20 animatronics. But um. I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you all are doing really well. Please like and subscribe for more. See ya!